In the sport of sprint car racing, you're guaranteed to see some pretty awesome paint jobs while you're at the races. These paint schemes can go from a sponsor, a throwback, a tribute, to Shrek. You never really know what to expect. So this series will be dedicated to going over, in my opinion, the coolest paint jobs in sprint car racing. Like I said in my post, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments as I'm planning on making quite a bit of videos for this series. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. It would be criminal if I didn't mention Steve Kinzer's Superman from the 99 Knoxville Nationals. What can you say, this is one of Steve's most beloved paint schemes he's had in his career. With these huge sponsors like Marvel and DC, they're usually one-off sponsors, but you can expect there to be lots of merchandise to come with it, because, well, that's exactly what happened. There was shirts, model kits, 164 scale diecast, 150 scale diecast, 118 scale diecast, it, even a metallic 164 diecast. This is personally one of my favorites, one reason being Superman, and I really love the fade between red, yellow, and blue on the body. It just looks so clean. Andy Forsberg's General Lee Tribute Sporting the design from the 1979 classic Dukes of Hazard, this sprint first hit the track at Placerville, California in 2014. But granted, this wouldn't go over well by some fans. The use of the Confederate flag on the top wing sparked controversy with something that there was a political meaning behind it, but it's easy to see that that wasn't the case. In an interview with Fox 40, Andy states, it's more of the love of the Dukes of Hazard than trying to prove a political statement. Danny Lasoski's many one-off sponsors while driving for Tony Stewart. In the early to mid-2000s, Danny Lasoski had many one-off sponsors while piloting the 20. Lots were unexpected as these were huge franchises that you'd expect to see in NASCAR. There was the Cat in the Hat, Jurassic Park, The Muppets, which you can see being driven in the footage shown right here, Madagascar, Mad Magazine, Shrek, and I gotta throw in his 2005 Mopar machine. Craig Delansky, 2009. I was obsessed with this car when I was a kid. I'm still looking for the 164 diecast to this day. I personally think that this is one of Casey Kane Racing's best looking paint schemes that they've ever had. Andy Hillenberg, 1997, 2000, and 2001. While having a big company like STP sponsoring his team, Andy had lots of interesting designs in the 90s, but one that sticks out the most is his 97 design. This is my personal favorite out of all of his designs from the 90s, but when Luxair became Andy's primary sponsor, his design didn't really change much through his last two years. But if I had to pick a favorite, I'd have to go with his 2000 design. Kevin Titman's Cole Trickle Tribute Sporting the design from the movie Days of Thunder, this car was actually driven not even a week ago at the Grand Annual Sprint Car Classic over in Australia. Hopefully we could see more designs like this in the future because these are awesome. Jack Honshield's R19 Machine through 2008 to 2010, Jack Honshield piloted the R19 for Carnahan Motorsports. And I gotta say, this is one of the most unique paint schemes that I've ever seen. I remember whenever I was a kid, I'd always refer to it as the Pink Panther car. Hopefully someday we'll see this car make a return. Joey Saldana, 2011. I think we can all agree that Joey had tons of awesome designs while driving for a Casey Kane Racing, but this one definitely stuck out from the rest. I really like the dark blue they used all around the car, especially the red coloring on the 9. In general, the Red Bull logo is awesome as it is, but having it on a sprint car looks even better. I really wish we got a diecast for this car because from what it looks like we were gonna get one, but I guess it just never followed through. Randy Hannigan 2008 Yeah, never in my life did I expect the softcore p graphic magazine company to sponsor a sprint car driver, but here we are. Generally speaking, the design was actually good. I found the black and white mixed with the company's colors to be a pretty good mix. Shane Stewart 2013 Monster Energy I found the black and green going very well together, and I really like the monster logo replacing the number on the right wing panel. For the final entry of this video, I'd like to throw in Tommy Tarleton's 2012 and 2013 designs. I've always been a fan of his paint schemes, especially his 2010 designs, but this one's my favorite. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Again, feel free to leave any suggestions down in the comments. I'm interested to see what you guys think should be included in this series. But anyways, this is Sprint Carnation, and I'll see you guys next time.